We're here in the back end of WordPress and we're in a ba very basic installation. One thing we've done just to set up work for this is that we've gone to our WPMU dev account and we've downloaded the hub, which you can find right here, the dev dashboard, and installed that as a plugin on WordPress. We've linked our account so we've got access to everything here in the back end. And what we want to do today is show you the features and how the back end looks for Smush Pro. This is one of those plugins that we use on every single one of our websites. So we're going to go under this plugin section here and we're going to pull up the details for Smush Pro. And the cool thing is you can install it directly from here. They make it very easy. WPMU Dev developed some really, really cool plugins. The functionality is great. The user interface is great. And they're just good products. It costs you $49 a month to have the subscription with WPMU Dev. It gives you access to all of their premium plugins. But on top of that, you also get three websites that you can host with them that are included with your, your membership, which is amazing. And now that Smush Pro is installed, we're gonna go ahead and activate it. And from the activation process, it's gonna add another menu down here on the left. And you're gonna see that it's just there as Smush Pro. So we see the plugin is successful. And now we've got Smush Pro installed. So the first thing we wanna do is come over here and click on Smush Pro. The very first time that you run Smush Pro, it's gonna take you through this really cool welcome, like super to easy, or super easy to use um, interface. So it's gonna say, you know, all of this, we're gonna begin the setup. It's gonna ask you whether, you not, whether or not you wanna do automatic compression on anything that gets uploaded. Uh, we're gonna automatically optimize new uploads, yes. What type of compression do you wanna optimize up to two times more than regular? Because you got the multi-pass, yeah, absolutely. Do we wanna remove the metadata from the image which will help make it smaller? Sure, doesn't matter where the shot was taken, any of that stuff. And do we wanna compress full-size images? I'm gonna put yes. And do we want to enable lazy load? Yes. And do we want to send our usage data? So it says help us improve Smush by letting our product designers gain insight into what features need improvement. We don't track any personalized data. It's all basic stuff. I'm going to go ahead and let that fly. Hopefully we can help their servers become better at compressing images and doing it more efficiently. So as soon as that happens, you're brought into this dashboard and there's a lot of options, right? We can attach one image. You can do bulk smash now. And that's going to run through anything that's existed on your site previously, and it will smush all of those. Then behind that, you can smush specific directories. We've got integrations here as well. And this is just Guten Gutenberg support. You've got all these different integrations that you can use to smush images. There's also the lazy load. And the lazy load gives you a lot of different options. You can pick your media types. You can pick the output locations, display animations for lazy load, and you can exclude them on certain pages or post types. There's also some CDN options. You can activate WPMU Dev's CDN. This is really cool. It's great for compression. It's great for content delivery. And then there's some more tools down here. Image resize detection. This highlights things on the front end of your site. So if you're scrolling through a page, on the front end as an admin. It'll put a yellow bar around it. and It'll even give you suggestions on what size the image should be. It's pretty cool. It works extremely well. And then you've got some regular settings. There's not a whole lot to the settings section, but this gives you an idea. And then this section up here in the dashboard is just going to continually roll. So as you continue to upload more things and smoosh more images, this counter is obviously going to go up and it's gonna track how much savings you've had across all of the images that you compressed. It works extremely well. This plugin is simple, but it's one that goes on to every single website that we build. It's just a default, it's part of our install. Um, when we set up Divi, we set up Smush Pro and a handful of other plugins. Those go on everything, regardless of the site, no matter what type it is. We're always compressing images because we want our sites to be fast. And that's one of the keys, and a lot of people miss that point. They'll upload two megabyte si uh, images for a featured image, or they'll plug in something that's ultimately going to be a thumbnail. Like I've seen people who do um, e-commerce websites with WooCommerce, 
and they plug in two megabyte images in the gallery. So there may be two or three or four images in that slider gallery for WooCommerce that are all that size that dramatically increases load times for your site. And e-commerce especially is one of those types of sites where speed is everything. So be very careful of the site of the size of the images that you upload in the WordPress, but then use something like Smush Pro to take it to the next level and do extra compression. And now in the WordPress repository, there is Smush, just regular WP Smush. It's not the pro version, and the only difference is that on the regular version that you can find in WordPress, uh, in the repo itself, your website handles the compression, and all of that, that work, that computing that happens is done on your server. Smush Pro offloads all the compression to WPMU dev servers, which are optimized for that, and it takes the load off of your site. That in itself, for me, is worth the money, especially when I have so many websites out there with Smush Pro on them. It just makes sense, and it's better for the end client. It's better for your website. So highly recommend Smush Pro, especially if you're going to build websites for a lot of people. But even if it's just for your own, it's going to make a drastic difference. Every second counts when it comes to load speed. So this is one that I never build a site without. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Uh, we love to get your feedback on the video. And yeah, I hope that this brings you some value. I hope that you see the importance in image optimization and compression. And we'll see you in the next video.